Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel, Child Morse, and I want to be discussing a real important video here on the channel, and this is something that if you live in America, this is absolutely one of the most important videos that I would want most of you or all of you to be paying attention to, because this is important. So, before I get into the video, please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, Charles Morris. Please remember to keep the comments decent, not offensive, and let's get into the video. So, so this is uh, one of the videos that I've actually kind of wanted to make on this channel, and this was, uh, a real important one, and this is a message for people here in America who live here in the United States. I don't understand why people would want to uh, have the United States be like another Germany where we have another, where we just have like a president of the United States that would basically do everything that Adolf Hitler, who in Germany was an evil dictator in Germany. I mean, this is what we would want at, for the United States. I mean, where, you know, like picture Donald J. Trump in um, Hitler's shoes, where the military, the U.S. military, let me go in door to door and possibly just killing people. I mean, is this is the this is the kind of future that we want for the country. This is what we want to deal with. This is like, come on, this is like so insane. I mean, really? I mean, first of all. Who could actually, like, even put up with a dictator being, um, elected here in the United States? I mean, really, that's insane. I mean, yeah, and I, I can tell you right now, there are not some smart people who are electing a very smart, um, person like Donald J. Trump. I mean, look what he did um, look what he actually did to, uh, keep himself elected here in the United States. He tried to overthrow the government, and, you know, this is, this is what, in the mind, Donald J. Trump was. He just gathered some of his favorite voters and all that stuff and tell them to go march up Capitol Hill, and caused, like, all sorts of violence. I mean, that's crazy. And stop the scale from Joe Biden, who won the 2020 election fair and square. And Donald Trump is wanting to take it away from him. He's been wanting to take it away from Joe Biden. He, and this is exactly what Donald Trump's plan was. So, does he deserve to be United States again? Um, like, President of the United States again? The big answer is, no, he's not. According to Article, or Section 4, or Amendment 4, Section 3, if I'm even saying that right, that Donald J. Trump or any of the people who committed insurrection of the United States <coughs> should not be allowed to be a uh, part of the United States again, or elected member of the U.S. military, or, you know, whatever. I mean, you, you caused the insurrection of the United States, Donald J. Trump, so... You're considered a traitor to America, so why do you think 
that people who have a brain are going to want you to just be like elected president of the United States again. Only the, only the, um, oh, I got it. Only the unwise and the unbrain and the unsmart are going to want you back in power because why? Well, they're total idiots. Anybody who doesn't have a head in the right way is going to want Donald J. Trump back in power. Those are idiots that want Donald J. Trump back in power. And they're just too, I don't know, I guess too messed up in the head to actually figure out that Donald J. Trump would dis- would literally destroy America. And yeah, this is exactly what America needs. is somebody to actually just destroy America and possibly do whatever he can to be an ally of Putin, a.k.a. Vladimir Putin, and, you know, just destroy America for Vladimir Putin. I mean, I think, I think Donald J. Trump wants to be a total dictator and help his friend Vladimir Putin out and you know so that with the United States out of the way then Vladimir Putin can continue his path of destruction and you know take over the whole entire world I I mean it can't be you know over exaggerated here But, I don't even know what to even think anymore. I think there are just people that think that, oh, world destruction is cool. World destruction is just cool. If they get blown up by Vladimir Putin, who cares? I mean, yeah, really. Really, I would, I, I love to see the day where the U.S. military would come knocking on my door and actually wanting to actually assassinate me and that stuff. And, you know, and it, even if Donald J. Trump was actually wanting to get himself back into the White House and that stuff, you know, there would be smart people that would actually want to go and assassinate him because... If Vladimir, or, I'm sorry, if Donald J. Trump really gets himself back into the White House, that are, I, I can almost guarantee that people would be, be like, very raged about what's happening. I mean, hey, if Joe Biden were to be reelected, then, you know, I mean, people wouldn't be happy either way. But, you know, at the same time, if Joe Biden were reelected, we wouldn't have a total dictator who'd be running in the United States as a running president in 2024. I mean, really, I think people would rather have a reelection of Joe Biden than Donald J. Trump just for the fact that we won't even have a dictator. But, I mean, if Joe Biden's old age actually does get into the way of whatever he's doing as a sitting president in 2024, then that's going to be even, it's going to be bad. But I mean, hey, on the bright side, we don't have a sitting president who's a dictator as much as bad as Adolf Hitler. I mean, really? I mean, yeah, I know Donald J. Trump said, I'd rather be a total dictator other than day one. I mean, yeah, but on the other side, you got to think, hmm, maybe the, maybe the man's lying. Maybe Donald J. Trump wants to be a dictator all the way through his presidency if reelected. And, you know, this could spell, um total doom to the United States 
and I don't know how people would really want RFK Jr. or RF Kennedy Jr. to be um, President of the United States. Robert Kennedy Jr., that is. I don't know how many people would want a man like Robert Kennedy Jr. to be President of the United States. But, you know, if it's not Donald J. Trump, I could, you know, I would be much better. And I'm sure the whole United States would be better off if we actually had a president of the United States who wasn't going to practice being a total dictator. So, and if he does get, if Donald J. Trump does end up being elected as president of the United States again, and that stuff, I can guarantee you that he would go on like total dictator mode. And this is where, you know, people would want to assassinate Donald J. Trump because all we've heard about was a dictator. And what is Donald J. Trump going to actually say in his inauguration speech? He's going to say like, oh, um, I, was just ta- I was just kidding about the whole dictator stuff and just trying to let her guard down and, you know, that stuff. I mean, the United States is, I mean, you just can't ignore it. I like the man wants to be a total dictator of the United States. So, you got to remember, Donald J. Trump wants to be a total dictator because that's what he wants to do. And I think he wants to really, overall, overall, I got to say, I got to say, Donald J. Trump overall obviously hates the United States and basically wants to do the same thing that Donald J., or the same thing to the United States that um, Adolf Hitler did to Germany back in um, history and that stuff. And... This is where Donald J. Trump will look like a much bigger idiot of the United States. Basically, Donald J. Trump would actually um, betray the United States and think like, "Uh, oh, look at all the things and the suckers that it voted me, voted for me. Now you're all gonna die." I mean, yeah, it's. Scary to think about, but this is actually what Donald J. Trump would pretty much bring the United States. Just chaos and destruction and, you know, want to practice his total dictator power with the U.S. military. And, you know, that would be a total blood bloody bloody time that the United States will have. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like what's said here, please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, Charles Morse. Please remember, again, to keep the comments decent non- and not offensive. And, you know, uh, the United States could uh, be on its path of destruction by Donald J. Trump, or should I, should, should I say wannabe dictator Trump, and the country could be just pretty much be ruined at that time. Have a good day. I will see you all in my next video.